Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rise of the Robots campaign, the infamous one where we're trying to beat the game with only Sparks and Psyops. And I have thought a little bit about uh, the next steps and uh, probably I thought it would be interesting to see the last alien ruler. So we're going to fight him next. The reason why I also wanted to do that before essentially going with the storyline mission of the Codex Brain Coordinates is because in eight days we got the Codex data and that will allow us once we scroll jack a Codex to eventually also spawn the avatar and get the avatar as a research objective as well. With that being said, we do have the Viper King here and not uh, the Archon King in my last two videos which i by the way did far far in the night so apologies for not being like completely uh, crisp and uh, on top of my game but in the last two i kind of uh, mixed that up due to the long break in between recording this so i uh, rethought and rewatched a bit where we've left it off and this indeed is the uh, um, viper king so we're going to fight him today. The team that we're going to use for that is uh, three sparks. We got Storm here and uh, we are going to use two of our Psy operatives. Quick feet theoretically can uh, take a mental breakdown afterwards. That's fine. Uh, not the end of the world because he will not be needed in the final missions. Nonetheless, let's make weapons available here and take the superior repeater as well as another mimic beacon so we got superior repeater superior repeater at three times pretty decent uh, guns and we're of course going to go with a mine shield that should give us plenty of room for whatever we're trying to do he already has a pcs that's good good and she also has a pcs right yeah superior speed good all right we are ready to launch this mission let's get right or let's jump right into it like i mentioned the last few missions were um, kind of getting back uh, into the campaign after a long break and now with full force and more vigor than before we are jumping right into it let's rock guys all right guess who just landed damn right it's us target coordinates are locked in and, and it is a desert shot. landscape fantastic that's exactly what i was hoping for nice little open landscape high ground would be preferable but i could live without the high ground let's scout the area so some high ground here but probably not worth exploring that way i could think that there might be high ground up ahead moving quick feet uh, not quick feet, sorry, lay first. And we are off we go. One, two, and let's take our third Mac. Getting that fire line going that we talked about so often. Quick feet moves, uh, moves as well. Got Storm over here, and finally, Roby. No nice little overwatch with every single one of them and let's first of all get a feel for what kind of enemies we're going to deal with glaive our tank begins to take po the point position we got the high ground that i was looking for perfect an old gas station is exactly what we would be needing dagger moves up and just to not fall behind, I am willing to like expedite it a bit. The cool part about mechs is, as you can already see, they are pretty fast. Oh, let's move uh, to here. There is no enemy pack that has been detected so far. And all of this here is still half cover, full cover, even uh, behind Glaive. I hear a door opening, probably kind of around uh, the entrance. Continuing to advance. On position with our max. Moving the designated position. 
All right, one, two, and quick feed is gonna take that position. Ooh, more high ground. Okay, cool. I think this high ground here is even potentially better. Although, once we're up here and we're making noise, uh, we might pull even additional enemies. So, I will opt to go for here to change things up a bit. This here is generally the better high ground, and I would, if you are looking for high ground, recommend doing that. However, since there is kind of this wonderful natural slope, we might be able to funnel the enemies into that. So in this very specific circumstance, I kind of persuaded myself into going there. Good. Quick feed. We can take this position, even if that means we're not overwatching. You have my trust. Storm can take full cover there and Roby again full cover position even though we are not overwatching. Watch begins. That's two packs that are theoretically in range. By the way, this here is explodable. Tracking enemy for pretty massive explosion. Remote Ooh. Oh Remote start would help. Would be subject gamma. Created a Viper King. Of course. Now the worst thing that could happen is uh, they will run into us and every single one of them will be triggered. That luckily did not happen yet. And in order to make sure that we're that we're not doing uh, such a thing, let's move back just a tiny bit. Just want to make sure we're Roger that. not triggering subject gamma, as they call it. Okay, although it indeed is an option to uh, to hit it, I would rather not do it. Instead, we're going to do what I initially said, which is uh, move up. Carefully walking around uh, the carefully walking around the line of sight. And how about in this specific case again? For the cause. Very good. So that's an overwatch, overwatch, overwatch. Got some uh, pretty decent position right here. Subject Gamma moves away and we're left with a very simple pack. Given the situation, I would almost say we're doing uh, the classical Bladestorm uh, pull. And the way that the classical Bladestorm pull works is we're essentially hitting, dropping uh, concealment, and we're getting three hits off of it. One for starters. One as a follow-up. And one is follow-up. Uh, granted, uh, there is only a moderate chance that it'll give you... Uh, that all of them uh, will give you focus, but that's okay. It's not a problem. Ooh, look at that. Undying loyalty once again strikes That's affirmative. Moving over we're just going to overwatch here Robius 
finishing this guy. That's good. We got momentum available, good enough to get us here and give us that extra focus. Overwatch, Overwatch and Overwatch. So we got three Overwatches going. Some of which hopefully will trigger now. There we go. Nice little shot. Also fully uh, shredded this guy. Second hit, even better. All right, so let's get going. Blue screen rounds would be fantastic to get rid of the codex. Question of obviously is can how can we maximize the chance of hitting it? If, if you say so. The mech is dead. I would rather try to go for the codex. Yep. That way we prevent it uh, from splitting. This here will give uh, the last focus that we need. There we go. So two small packs, both completely eradicated. Moving up with our max so that they do have a decent chance to hit. And I would say for now, let's just use our advantageous position up here. And Overwatch. Good. One step at a time, shall we? Moving over here. Confirmed. That will not trigger the subject Gamma. Moving. Second move. And third move, Just a moment. all of which have high ground and pretty decent angles. Let's move up here. We're leaving the door closed for now. I don't want to trigger anything by just moving there. Uh, instead, let's move Order. up here. That shouldn't trigger anything and quick feet can move Double over time. here. Good. Overwatch. Continuing to overwatch. overwatch. Three pretty decent overwatches up here and that should give us a bit of an edge. At least we should be able to completely shred it. Well, Hunter triggers one more time and we got it down to two thirds. Perfect. Very good. Um, I mean, a couple of things that we can do. Number one, Lightning Hands will not uh, end its turn. Uh, well, give it a turn. It's just a free action. Okay, cool. Didn't work out. Hmm. We move in. It will unfortunately uh, get a turn to react. I like the idea of stasis for it. That would pretty much ruin its day. So the most damage that we can deal is this, which is the normal damage and then the 
late storm attack and I think that's exactly what we're going to do it's disoriented and pretty damaged there is the additional damage It's summoning a gate, so it will get one more attack. Question is... Should we try to just hit it? And with that hit, uh, we do have a repeater. That's a good... That's a really decent chance of actually killing it. Well, it will give us a chance to kill it. And some decent damage on top of it. We unfortunately do not have many uh, overwatch shots lined up yet this here does not cross its line of sight until we're here so just wondering if we move if we move and drop down back here that will be completely out of his line of sight, so it will not give it any actions. We're then continuing to overwatch here. That'll give us that extra shot when it is running towards the gate. Cool. Now. That'll be one hit. Uh, there will be another Bladestorm attack on top. And yeah, let's just hope we can execute it no execution all right today i learned the movement to gate does not provoke any um, reactions neither uh, from overwatch nor from anything else kind of makes sense but it's still lame i was hoping that that would work All right, moving up. No problem to overdrive here. You can already see that there is one pack standing here. We killed overall four enemies. No armor penetration. We're kill uh, we killed uh, an overall amount of four enemies. And this is kind of uh, more or less the cleanup. Still sticking with high ground here. Overwatch and overwatch. Well, damn it. I was indeed hoping we would maybe kill this guy. Too bad we were not able to get him uh, get it down. Alright, moving up. And we're looking at plenty of overwatch shots. Probably should reload. Uh, there is no need why we or there's no reason why we couldn't reload uh, right now. So reload 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 and reload all right i think we're going to take the high ground here and just rush in Very nice. Hunter is an incredibly strong ability. I definitely need to uh, kind of reconsider my original uh, original stance on it. 
it's not even close. That ability is... Look at the amount of extra uh, shots that you are getting. It is absurd. That was four shots and we didn't even try, right? Okay, just out of curiosity. Yeah, that, oh wow, yeah, that would deal a lot of damage. Okay, cool. So overdrive. Let's get the party started because uh, we've just officially triggered the entire uh, remaining map. Good, killed one. Just again out of curious. Oh wow, that is such a disgustingly large area of effect. Yeah, wow. Well, okay, I'll think about that. This year we'll take two of them out and completely free up uh, the remaining target. Uh, let's go with the gatekeeper. Okie dokie. Let's take a look. Okay, so we got either of these guys. This here would be a 100% kill if we were to go there. Might as well shoot him down. Beautiful. Except the undying loyalty, which as always stinks. We're just going to stasis. Uh, I'll take care of him next turn, which is unfair, but such is life. And afterwards, we're going to eliminate. Very nice. Moving into full cover. Moving up, half cover. Yeah, we could hit it uh, with the Volt attack. Dagger on the other side. This is probably the only somewhat decent position where we could hit it, 60%. I find that that is wasteful. Should have probably used that beforehand for full fledged shredding. Or alternatively, we're just going to do that. Inspire, yes, please. There we go. Good job. Yep, that's not a problem. We'll eventually get it. Storm is charging in. Jolly good fun if you have a lot of psionic characters. There we go. And how about parry plus the good old blade storm attack that is going to follow. Or not. All right, good. So one thing at a time. We're going to go over here. 
We will be back in a second. But I felt for the good old blaster bomb, we want to give uh, them some space. There we go. Beautiful shredding. Advancing. Moving up. And just because we can, let's shred both of them. There we go. Down. I'm, I'm trusting you here. Went off the armor. Blue screen rounds nicely has set it up. And some lightning hands to finish it. Uh, let's just double check if some loot has dropped. It almost sounded like it. Yeah, superior stock, Elarium core, pretty good loot items. Good, and uh, I think that's it, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, there is another alien pack. Must have miscounted, it's probably one tower. Got a pack of four, got a pack of two, 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 uh, six, one tower that's uh, actually 11. I'm not sure why there is still a resistance. Menace one five, status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Roll. Probably a tower. All right, moving and moving and we're out of here. That was some jolly good fun, guys. We almost killed uh, the Advent Ruler. And we pretty much just overburdened them. I didn't uh, stand much of a chance. The Viper King, if it'll show up anywhere, will be very, very damaged. Like I said, one tower uh, somewhere in the uh, proximity has uh, remained, but yeah, that died when we blew up the facility. And here we are. Did we get a promotion? We, there is no promotion to the, oh wait, of course. Storm could be promoted. And yes, Arcwave, thank you. Got seven more here. Reaper is fantastic. I like Shadow Step a lot as well. Just to ignore the uh, the extra shots. And maybe we're going uh, Shadow Step plus Amplify. Amplify is good against alien rulers and such. Shadow Step is generally a pretty decent ability. Uh, nothing wrong with Reaper. Uh, however, Reaper sometimes has a few side effects that are not really um, great for Templar, number one. Uh, in my Lone Wolf uh, run, Hogbite had Reaper and I think it messed up the parry ability because all of a sudden the Assassin was able to uh, slash through parry, which technically she was not uh, able to do so before. And it was either Reaper uh, that uh, sort of messed uh, the, um, the, uh, the parry chance up or it was too much uh, dodge. So get, uh, going way far above 100, 150%. Um, I haven't figured that out yet, but I have a strong suspicion that Reaper does that. The other uh, topic that Reaper definitely does is, uh, as soon as Reaper is activated, you can no longer use parry, at least for the round. So that's a bit disappointing. Good. We immediately got another target. 
And we need, uh, we need to do that mission. Um, and the reason why we need to do that mission is because if we're not doing it, we're losing access to this area. If we lose access to this area, we can't do the storyline mission. Which means the game just forces us now to neutralize a target, gives us supplies and intel. Not sure why exactly it does that. Um, it also gives us resistance context, probably because it assumes we need to expand, which we really do not need to do at this point. Um, it wanted to give us more intel, which well, it's nice, but we also don't need it. What we need to do is we need to get our act together and um, effectively do this here. I wanted to wait uh, the eight more days so that I can hit two birds with one stone. So that's uh, what we're going to do. We're definitely going to do the mission next. In terms of just uh, projects that are available, we can do a fast uh, stasis suit research next. So that'll be a fantastic option for us as well. Stasis suit and then it's only avatar and we're done so we're almost almost done with that no active research there and there's really not that much more that we can do at this point can increase the bond of the rookies that's not bad rookies at this point are probably not going to uh, see much action the psylab still can't really cancel the training here I decided to not rebuild it. It is what it is. We're just going with what we do have. And that's pretty much the end of today's session, guys. Uh, we're going to uh, jump right back into the uh, Escort VIP mission. So the Dark VIP mission, not Escort, Dark VIP mission the next time we're continuing. And then it is hopefully going to be more Golden Storyline missions. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoy the content, feel free to leave uh, comment down below that helps the YouTube algorithm. You know the game by now and pew, smash that like button. See you in the next episode. Bye bye guys.